Hi everyone, I'm Paul from Liberty Gate and today we're back in the Park Estate. If you've never been to the park, behind me is one of the best kept secrets. It's the Park Tunnel. This place was built back in 1855 and its purpose was to provide access through to Derby Road for horse-drawn carriages. It was finished by one of Nottingham's most notable architects, T.C. Hine, who really had an influence over the park and shaped it into what it is today. Now, T.C. Hine loved a challenge and he loved building on plots that were tricky, shall we say. This is one of his last projects and notably one of his finest. He loved the challenge and he's built this place up on the cliff edge and today we get to look around the penthouse. Newcastle House was built in 1881 and was converted in the 20th century into what we know today, these three luxurious dwellings. The current owner has spent the last few years extensively renovating this property to bring it back to its former glory. The results are absolutely spectacular and this is something that hits you just as soon as you come through the front door. This apartment is such a wonderful mix of original features and sympathetic renovations, including the original arched front doorway behind me, got these gorgeous stained glass windows, as well as this Minton style tiled floor, which is actually 2,000 tiles which have been hand cut and laid just to take into account the curve of the building here. One of the things that I really love about this place is the way that T.C. Hine designed it. This is hands down one of the best apartments that I've ever been in. Everywhere you look, there's just something else to be amazed by, including this sweeping spiral staircase. As we come up to the first floor, the architecture continues with this curved wall which leads off to one of the guest bedrooms. But first I want to show you one of my favourite rooms and that's this, the kitchen dining area. This place has been done to such a high standard and there's little things that you wouldn't even notice such as this handmade cabinetry and curved work surfaces to fit the curve of this wall. Continuing with the theme of curves, we've got this island unit with its lovely rounded cupboards and curved work surfaces. It's just something that you don't see very often but I think it fits within this property so well. Now, we talked about the blend of old and new, and I think this room is a perfect example of that. You've got this kitchen which fits within the original style, but you've got all the modern fixtures and fittings that you need for today. You've got things like a dishwasher, fantastic induction hob, double slide and hide ovens, fridge freezers. The island unit's just one of my favorite things because I feel it really pulls this room together to make it such a great entertaining space. This space is only enhanced by the original features of the building, including the three meter high ceilings and this original fireplace, which is still actually working today. Into the lounge, and this is really where this apartment comes into its own. This room is Victorian grandeur at its grandest. All of the windows in this apartment are now double glazed and in this room you've got eight of them on three aspects, all of which offer fantastic views. Now if you're brave enough, this window in particular offers views straight down the cliff face to the park tunnel. Finally in the lounge I wanted to show you this. This is the second of three cast iron fireplaces with inlaid mint and tiles and as you can see it's still in working order. Last but not least on the first floor is one of three double bedrooms which is perfect as a guest suite. Just next door is the first floor bathroom which is the perfect example of how to do restorative work. There's a fully restored cast iron column radiator as well as a new Burlington shower which is only enhanced by the feature tiling of this room. There's even bespoke handmade cabinetry which hides away your washer dryer and even your boiler. Upstairs past another stained glass window to the second floor where we've got the remaining two bedrooms and bathrooms. In any other apartment a room of this size would be considered the master but here this is the second bedroom. Wonderfully restored you've got the lovely exposed beams, stripped original flooring and wonderful views across the park. And now onto the master suite. What a place to wake up in the morning. Now this room is a real showstopper. 
This room is wonderfully lit by four dual aspect windows, including this eight-pointed style window, which was a trademark of T.C. Hein himself. This room's a testament to the quality of the renovation here. A great example of the attention to detail here is the third of the working cast iron fireplaces. The mint and tiled hearth we see was originally taken from the kitchen fireplace and relayed in here. But one of the best features of this room has to be this. We're stood in one of the turrets, which is one of the iconic trademarks of this building, and it's now been converted into a gentleman's dressing area. The principal ensuite is incredibly spacious and features another of the TC Hein Hallmark eight-pointed star windows. On top of that, you've got the marble tiled shower enclosure with rainfall shower and a freestanding Burlington sink. Now, before we go, I just want to show you one last surprise. This is, without a doubt, one of the most luxurious bathrooms I've ever been in. We're currently stood in the second turret of the building. There used to be a water tank up here, which when it was removed exposed this beautiful beamwork. The idea of working with a fully rounded room is a challenge for so many designers. The idea of giving it over to be a fully luxury bathroom is something that I find wonderfully decadent. This property is going to be coming to the market soon and if you'd like some more information then please get in touch at libertygate.co.uk